Welcome to this introduction to Laravel Folio. Hi, my name is Shane Rosenthal, and I'd like to introduce you to Laravel Folio and get it configured in an application and show you kind of what it's all about. Laravel Folio was introduced to us in 2023 by Taylor Otwell, the creator of Laravel, at the Laracon in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Laravel Folio is a powerful page-based router designed to simplify routing in Laravel applications. And it does just that. Um, typically we have a routes file and we have each of our routes defined there and we have middleware and we have functions we can run and all sorts of that. And, and Laravel Folio really aims to make it more of a page-based or just defined inside of directory-based uh, way to route our applications. When I first saw it, I didn't really understand, or I guess I didn't um, see the point of it, but after playing with it for a while, I, I gotta say, it's kinda catching on. Check it out. Here is the uh, the repo for Laravel Folio, and there's some um, notes here on how to install and include it in an application. I went ahead and created an application, just a simple uh, post, blog post, you know, application. This is the uh, the age-old blog post application for Laravel, right? So we have our post listed here. We can see the title, the body, the author or the user that created it. Clicking on it, we can see the title and the body. Um, we have links back to the author. We can go back to all posts and we can even see some comments. Now, I understand that it doesn't really make sense to show comments in this fashion but um, I'm using this kind of as a, a stub so that we can um, show some of the route model binding here inside of uh, Laravel Folio. So let's take a look at the application. Um, and I gotta say, the, the first thing uh, that you gotta look at here is the, is the web.php. There's absolutely nothing going on here defining any of my routes, any of the middleware, anything that you would typically see in a, in a, in a Laravel application. Um, I feel like, being a Laravel uh, developer for 12 years, 11 years now, um, that when I see a brand new application and uh, or I'm handed some some work from somebody else, this is the first place that I go to. And for me, that's going to take a little bit of time to wrap my head around and understand that there's this new way now that some people might be using. Um, I like it because it's kind of like a book, right? The routes uh, web.php. I can see all of the entry points into the application. Uh, most of them at least and uh, I can see any middleware that might be going on or I can really kind of see too if a lot of people are using functions directly inside of each route kind of the quality of code that we're dealing with so let's take a look uh, instead of having your routes uh, in defined inside of your web.php um, inside of a folio project we have this pages uh, inside of so it'd be resources views pages and we have pages defined here and you can see here I've got this hello.blade.php. Let's take a look at that. So there you go, hello world from Folio. That was defined simply by having inside of our pages directory, this hello.blade.php. Um, so that's, that's, that's kind of interesting. Folio is looking through and it's, it's sifting through all of the files that are in this directory and then it's able to string match and, and, and and define routes based on on your your structure here. Um, taking that a step further, we can see this post directory that I've defined, and it's got this index.blade.php. So um, I wouldn't have to go to post slash index for that. If you have an index.blade.php defined inside of a directory, or even just at the root, um, so it could be just pages slash index.blade.php. That's that's gonna give you access to just having to go to, uh, in this case, it would be just posts, and that's where you can see is the entry point for for this application that I've created here, um, at least for the blog part of this, right? It's inside of posts. The code behind this, uh, we're just doing this. Uh, we're bringing in PHP and we're um, getting a list of all of our posts. At first I thought, well, um, if we're using this post, shouldn't I be able to say, well, just give me all the posts and not have to write this. However, maybe we want posts that are not deleted or posts that are not archived or posts that are not published yet or what have you. So this gives you, um, you have all the access that you need here to do whatever querying you want to right inside of the, the blade file and um, then you can echo it out. So I'm just doing a for each 
in uh, post as posts and we're echoing out all the information. Now, um, taking a look, you can see that I've got a link here that takes you to um, this slash post route slash post ID. And you can see inside of posts, I have this, um, it's kind of like a wildcard um, ID in this bracket syntax um, to define uh, that this route essentially. So it, when we click on one of these, we can see that it goes to this route post slash one and it's giving us all the information. If we go into this blade file, you can see that I'm, I'm doing this lookup um, based on this ID variable that's being given to us from this folio routing. So we have this, we have this ID that's coming directly off the URL and um, then we're doing a post lookup and we could you know, bring in some other information based on that post, etc. And then below, you can see that we've got access to the author, so the post user name, the post user ID, etc. Cool. So, um, what really is cool, where I started to smile just a little bit, was when I could see um, how how Folio takes advantage of these wildcard routes. So, um, interestingly, if we change this, um, let's refactor this ID to the word post and say refactor. Now we should have a, an undefined variable ID and that's fine. What it offers us is the ability to just get rid of all this, uh, all this PHP code inside of our view and it just gives it to us directly. So just by changing it to the syntax, now we don't need to bring the ID in, we don't need to uh, look up the it, it's just given to us. Um, it's a model route binding that we've grown to love over the years with Laravel Next up you can see I have this post slash post um, With this post uh, bracket syntax and then inside of that this comment So what we have here is um, the 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 URL for this would be slash post slash the idea of the post slash comments and you can see if we go and click on this view comments, we have this post slash one slash comments. So we've got that uh, route model binding um, directly inside of the directory structure without having to define anything. I think it's pretty cool. I really feel like this is geared mostly towards um, people coming from a Nuxt or Next or some sort of like front end templating engine background um, where they would have a pages or components directory and just by adding um, files into those directories the back end of the application uh, can identify pretty easily that you're having a new page here and it would just give you the route out of the box um, which i really do appreciate again coming from like a laravel background and having that routes file that web.php uh, file um, i personally i still would probably prefer to go the route of having the web.php uh, just so that I can see all of the um, entry points into my application. Now, the cool thing about Laravel Folio is that you can actually make it a hybrid, right? Just because we're using Folio doesn't mean that we um, don't have access anymore to this web.php. So if I uncomment this out and go back to just our root directory, um, it just takes us to the to the regular welcome uh, page from Laravel. So I could see some use cases for this, especially if you're doing a lot like a heavy front end. I've done applications in the past where we had like an admin back end with Nova or you could do it now with Filament. And the front end really was just a bunch of splash pages. And that's kind of there's not a lot of in interactivity. I could see a really good use case for having static pages on the front end and having more of the application um, using the route. So all in all, I think Laravel Folio is a really great package, especially if you're gonna use it for that use case scenario. If you're coming from a Nuxt or Next or uh, some, a background similar to those, and you're used to just adding pages and not defining routes, this is gonna fit right in with everything that you are already familiar with. 
the bonus is that you can still use this web.php to define routes to to have some logic in the back end and and split your app into different sections so thanks for taking a look at laravel folio with me don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel especially if you love laravel or even if you just like it and want to learn more about it we'll see you on the next one